Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Inked Pulp. And we're back with another Art Before Breakfast. So, nobody's here yet. Huh. That's some big chunky beads. I wish those were peachy color. So I started working on another bag. And I was thinking that, so we have this that we still need to finish. I need to put one in the back side. Actually, I've got the card. I just need, um, we just need to decorate it. Um, or we could work on this bag today and finish it up. I made another one yesterday too. I'll wait till a few more people get in here and I'll show it. So I'm getting new glasses today. Mine have been, it's been so hard for me to see. Yeah, I've got all these pinky things, but this is more of like a salmon-y color. Um, and then it's got the greens on there as well. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I thought I'd do some different colors and get away from the lace at the top. And it doesn't mean I can't put some doilies down here at the bottom. But um, I want to get away from so much of the frou-frou because not everybody likes that. I could put that on there. And then I have, what I do with those big buttons? If I could find a peachy color button, which I'm sure I have, I could put a peachy color, like a big old button right there. Then I could put some little buttons around. I don't know. Where is everybody? It says I've got two watching. Um... I must have the lurkers here. Well, do give me a thumbs up if you would. Now it says I have three. So people are starting to roll in. Everybody su survived Labor Day yesterday. I, <laughs> we cooked a feast. We're going to be eating for a week on this. I made a huge pot of macaroni salad. Good morning, Donna. I made macaroni salad. We had grilled hamburgers with bacon and avocado on them and grilled hot dogs and corn on the cob. That's a lot of food for two people. <laughs> but I got a refrigerator full of leftovers, so I won't have to cook today at all. So Donna, this was, we have that other piece to finish up today, but I was showing, this is a bag that I started. This, none of this is glued down. Um, and I want to do something that isn't quite also lacy because I've had ladies tell me like, I love your bags, but I'm not a real, you know, lacy girl. So like they just don't work for some people. So I was thinking about something like that, only those aren't the right buttons. Those are pink and I need a peachy color one, but I love the shape of them and I love the size of them. But I was thinking about something like that and thinking that we could either work on this today or get back with our there's a ooh now that's nice they're not exactly the same green but I like that one I might be finishing up my yep I got it out and I've got more button boxes than just this one 
Um, I've got, um, what do I do with that? What, here it is. These are some bigger buttons. Ooh, these are the right colors, but I don't know if I like this pattern. But they are the right colors. Uh, let's see what else I have in here. I've got a number of button boxes. Yeah, it does. There's one that's more the right color, but it's too small. Nope. And I don't even know if decorating this bag is what we want to... Yeah, I'm not... I don't like those patterns because the background is really busy. I'm with you. I don't like that. But you got to audition everything, right? It could have been just exactly the right thing. Could have been. Oops. Now I'm throwing buttons around the room. Huh. These are all kind of neutrals. Yep, nothing in there. I do still have that green one, and I like that the green one has a unique shape to it. Now, what did I do with it? Um, I do too, and now I don't know where. <laughs> oh, my lordy, lordy. There it is. I have got so many buttons. It's just not even funny. Um, hang on. I have one more place I can look. I do like that green one, too. And then I've got these. Ooh, look at these buttons. Aren't those pretty? Not for this piece, but... I love buttons that are unusual. Well, there's another green one. Ooh, look at these. Let's just try it. Because it's more of the green color that's in the other parts. And just look at all these buttons. And this isn't even a portion of the buttons that I have. Okay, so there's that one. I could do that. Look at that. That's kind of cool. And then I don't know if this is too, it's probably too small. It needs a big button there. needs a big one so i'd say it's either that one because that really matches or it's that one i don't know if i have peach thread i'll have to look i kind of don't think i do but um This one, oh no, it's definitely green. I'll hold it up. It's just not showing on the. Yeah, it's definitely green. See the minty green color matches like. 
perfect with this, perfect with this. So it's one of these two. But I like the idea of this one with a peachy color in the middle because I've probably got some smaller peachy color ones in here. I didn't have anything big in my button box. Hey, Vanessa. I was, had started working on a bag and I just, I was showing Donna and then we just kind of started designing it. I know we have another project to finish up too. Um, but let me see. I can find anything peachy in here. Here's, ooh, no. It's not really peachy, it's more salmon color. It's got a little more. I don't know if that's the right one. That's the same thing, I think. That one looks better. I do like that. I do like it a lot. I've got a bunch of these. Um, well, that's what I've got for... No, not that one. I like that one making strange noises this morning yeah it's not a peach it's a um it's it's not quite that either it's an odd color it's really not peach it's got more red in it it's like a It's like a salmon-y color. Hang on, I've got... And I've got this button box. Oh, it's more like this. Nope, that's not it either. It's a really hard color to match. So a little one that would work with the green. Where'd it go? It escaped me. Almost, yeah, it is, but it's, um, I don't know. It's just an odd, odd color that matches really well. The other thing I have, I'm just not seeing anything that's that particular color. At least not anything big. Nope. See, that's the right color for down here. Other choice that I have oh this here that's like a dusty rose there's nothing orange on this it may look orange on your screen but I promise you there's nothing orange on here it's like a salmon color this is like a dusty rose in the middle of the fan It's more like this color. That matches it perfectly. If we wanted to do something like that, or... Oh, I've got another whole bag of buttons up there. Yes? The other thing I have are some of these fun wooden buttons that are um, a 
but I have some designs in. I don't know if I have anything here that would match. I have a butterfly we could sew on. These are all too dark. Ooh, I have some postage stamp buttons. Let's take a look at those. This is what I was thinking of. See, I have these buttons. These have flowers on them. I was thinking of just seeing what I have. Ooh, here's a pretty green one. It's not the right color, though. There's a green with, there's a green clock, some more postage stamps, so I've got all kinds of fun wooden buttons in here. if some of these might <gasps> look at that butterfly yeah I think it might too so let's let's just take a look I do have that butterfly button look at that now that matches the colors perfectly I'm going to put some little antenna on him you like the butterfly but I think it needs still needs something more behind it maybe a little tiny doily another doily but a little one behind it what do you think about the butterfly you guys it definitely does need something behind it though That's one of those little connectors. Yep, come on, Vanessa. It does, even if I put something behind it. I think it's too small is what I think the problem is. I think if it were bigger. But I think it's just too small. Nope, don't like that. I'm going back to this. And I do like the second little doily under it. It gives it more oomph. A little more depth. And then we had that one. Too much doily. I don't know, because it's going to need something over here, too. Oh, I had these. And I could just, you know, scatter some buttons around over there. That's pretty. I know, and I don't have anything um, to dye it that color. Not that color. Now these are exactly the same. What do you think about the stamp? I'm not sold on it. I'm still going back to the regular buttons idea. Although I do kind of like that. Let me bring you down a little bit closer. That looks great. You like this with the stamp, Vanessa?
Nope, don't want that up there. Oh, I'm sorry, Vanessa. I did like something else underneath that. Let me see what else I have here. So I have that, but it doesn't go at all. Okay, Vanessa likes the stamp. What do you think, Donna? Those are too much. Who's lurking? I know, somebody's lurking. I always have lurkers, and that's okay. I don't... You know, I have this little piece of tatted doily, and I'm hoarding it. I don't know why I'm hoarding it, because if it sits in my box, it never gets used. But I can't bring myself to use it just yet. I'm looking for something a little bit darker, so there would be... Um... See, this is peach. And it doesn't exactly match because those aren't peach. They're salmon color. Oh, lordy, lordy. Okay. Ooh, now how about that? And then that. What do you guys think of that? We could put this button up here on the top. I don't think I like the pink up there, or if I do, I like it a lot more muted up here if we did it up there. No, not going to use it. Not going to use it. I'm sorry. I'm not ready. It has to be something that I am absolutely in love with. And I'm not absolutely in love with this bag. I like it, but I'm not absolutely in love with it. I think what I would do is put across here just some plain white um, And then all of these wooden buttons go back in. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. You can't convince me on this one. I'm sorry. You could put the butterfly up there on top. That would be cute. What are you guys thinking of that? Hey, Kelly. We're working on a bag here. Healing energy coming your way, Vanessa. Yeah, I hate not feeling well. I kind of like that. So we got some wooden buttons on here. Hey, while I'm thinking on that one, let me show you guys. Look at the one I did yesterday. Isn't that cool? And I put all those pearls in there. Those are all halfback pearls that I put in. Hey, Susan. Isn't that cool? I actually dyed this um, applique with, um, with um, vintage photo. And some of it came out kind of orangey because it was too dark. So I took it in the bathroom and I rinsed it out with water thinking, okay, that'll lighten it up. And it did. But then it left, I got a little piece of hair sticking out there. Um, it left all these really cool patterns and colors. And, um, and then I put all these little pearls in there and all the pearls at the top. And I know what you're going to say, Donna, that lace at the top is too white for the bag, but I like it. I think it stands out. I 
Donna, I can guess, I can channel my inner Donna and tell what you're going to say. But it matches the pearls. But anyway, what do you think? Donna, what do you think of that one? I think it came out really pretty. And then I want to do, I want to finish up this one. Yeah, it goes with the pearls. Oh, thank you, Donna. Yeah, I wanted to get five additional bags made, but this one right here will be my fourth. All right, should we start gluing stuff down and then we can just figure out other stuff as we go? I could put a more generic applique on here, like a flower that goes over into here. Um, I've got some different flower appliques. I don't know if that goes. I don't want to do things like right in the middle. And if I did that, it just looks like it's kind of sitting out there all by itself. So we'll figure it out. Except the butterfly. Okay, well, we'll take a vote. Try that on the top. Top of where? Like up here? We could do that. I'd have to dye it some color. But that still leaves a big blank space right here. That's what I'm trying to fill right now. Maybe just something up in this area. And, you know, I've got my metal pieces. I could put metal pieces up there. But let me get the fabric glue down and the border because I know that we're going to do those. And you guys can see. Again. Oh, I did. I glued the front already. So I just have to do the sides. Let me put the lid on this button box because knowing me, I'll hit it with my elbow and it'll go flying. And then I'll be really angry because I'll have all those buttons to clean up. All right, so I glued the front. I had to buy more bags and um, these bags came out a little bit taller. They're a little bit bigger. I don't know if they'll fit into my um, packaging. But we'll see. Okay, remember, I do this thing because I don't want globs of Fabri-Tac that are going to show through. But we want to glue that over so we have a nice rounded edge there. Did I show you guys the shelf that my hubby built for me? He's such a good hubby. Over on my metals workstation. I don't know if I showed it here or not, but I wanted a shelving unit there to put stuff above my workstation to hold it so it's, you know, close by and handy. And he built me one. You like that in the middle and the butterfly on the side. Okay, let's get this all glued down. And um, it's amazing what you can do. Yeah, I cut this a little short so that um trim piece works really well okay, it's too long we gotta go in farther over down here i don't know why that happens the fabrics must not be made their weave must not be perfectly straight because if i fold straight down yep that 
works and see how far over I had to do it. I don't know what that's all about. I had this, that um, real fluffy stuff that I have here. I've had that for a while and I can't remember. I think I might have got it from Penny Pudge. And I've really never found anywhere to use it that I liked it. Okay, now that one's too short. Isn't that just crazy? But good thing Fabri-Tac gives you a little bit of playing time. Okay, this side is perfect. This side, I need to come in just a little bit at the bottom. So you guys should get out your supplies and make yourself a little bag. You can order these on Amazon. They're really inexpensive. Lots of glue in the middle. And then brush it all the way out to the edges. That's the other thing. You can't always get the glue right out to the edges when you just squeeze it out of the bottle. But with this little silicone brush. And the nice thing about these silicone brushes, I don't know if you guys have ever used them. But this Fabri-Tac glue that sticks to everything else, it just peels right off that silicone brush. But it smooths out the Fabri-Tac. I still every once in a while get a spot where it shows through, but not, not like you do if you just squeeze it on. And The other thing is if you just squeeze it on, you can see through the lines where you put it down, where this, this spreads it out. All right, so there's that. Over just a little bit more. And then that. And then there we go. We have a bag. This one's over just a little bit, but that's okay. I can kind of glue that down some. All right, there's that. Now let's put, I always start on the back. Let's put down this trim. Oh, hi, Stacy and Marty. I'm putting a new bag together. We were supposed to be finishing up that project we started yesterday, but I got to show in my bag, and I don't know, we just started working on it. We can always come back to that other piece. And so I left these edges kind of frayed, and it's kind of, you know, tatty, and I just, I want to make one that's really grungy, too. Um, and see how that sells. Most of the late, well, I shouldn't say that. A lot of the ladies who buy my bags are a little bit older. Um, and I think the reason they really like them is because of all the lace and uh, stuff that's on the bags. And maybe if I had some that, you know, didn't have all of that, I might have, um, Mike. Oh, yeah, that heat will get to you. And be careful, you can get heat stroke. We've missed you. We had a new gal yesterday. She emailed me, by the way, sent me her address. I'm going to put together a little package of goodies for her since she's new into this whole venture. And um, she told me that she, you know, worked 
works full time. So she probably won't be on except pretty much on the weekends. So I told her she could always watch the replay if she saw something she was interested in. And there we go. You can't even tell where it begins and ends. All right, we're making another bag, Mike. So we've got this. Some different colors for me. Oh, hey, Jess. I'm making another bag. Hey, Jess, take a look at this one I made yesterday. And I used some of this same leaf fabric to put in the zipper for a little zipper pull. Isn't that pretty? This was yesterday's bag. Yep, it's Jess. Anyway, and Mike, you didn't see this either. And Marty and maybe some others. So anyway, that's the one I did yesterday on my own. See, I can design on my own if I have to. It's just a lot more fun with you folks. All right, so here's what we had next. I had this. And let's go a little bit farther. And then I was going to put this darker one on there just for some contrast. And then we had this button, which I can stitch on. Now, the other choice was... Um, this one you want? The one I'm working on now? It's not blue, but... Or are you talking about the blue and black one? Oh, I have two blue ones. The light blue and the dark with the black. Was it this one, Jess? Um, so we had the button there, and now that I see this stamp there, I don't care for the button anymore. So we had that. I don't want to glue this stuff down yet till we get the whole layout. Um, and then I had a butterfly, which has flown away, um, that I was going to put up here. Now, Donna didn't really like it up there. I do, but what do you guys think? And then I need something here. And I was thinking maybe, just maybe, I could pull out. Oh, hang on. I don't want to cause an avalanche here. <laughs> you feel a need to feed. I was thinking about maybe a metal piece, but now I'm not so sure about that. I could put a little pocket here, and I have some coordinating fabric. I just wasn't sure... I was going to put this around the top, but I could put, see how it coordinates? It's It blended in too much for me. But I could make a little pocket there. That's not wide enough for a pocket. And I don't know if we want that material. What should I put here, you guys? Let's think about it. What goes there? An applique, maybe? Let me pull out Carla's appliques. Because I bought some that weren't all... Frou -frou. Like, you know, with all the sequins and stuff. I bought some more plain ones from her, and I have some in my other... Oh, thank you, Marty. Um, ooh, I have that one, but that... It, again, this is not peach. It's like a dusty rose. Oh, I know what I have in here. 
these. No, see, it just looks too... And then we're getting kind of back to the frou frou -y stuff again. I don't want that. I want something more. What's yours? Good morning. Um, see if I have something just, I just want something more plain. I'm trying to make a bag, Mimi, that is not so girly girly. You know, for somebody who wants a bag but doesn't want to. What if we did this? What if I made a little flower out of this? Might be too much of that. Let's say we could make a little flower and put a button right in the middle of it. Or I could put it up here. Yep, Donna what? Do you guys like that all at all? I'm not sure that I do. I'm not sure that I do. Nope. Don't like it at all. <laughs> Bye, Jess. Have a great day at work. Oh, oh, I know what I could do. It always comes to me if I look at it long enough. I've got some of this really old, this old antique lace that I have. That's probably too wide. Um, I did this on, oh, did Jess say which bag she wanted? I didn't the dark blue oh the black and the, the blue and I have another one of those panels so I can make another one of those bags too if we took a piece of lace and just sort of put it around here and then I put some buttons on it but that's too thin compared to all the others because you know this is chunky these are kind of chunky i need something hang on a second y'all know i've got stuff i've got stuff and i'm sure we can find something I have no doubt Did I see Lori came in. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. So here's what we've got so far. Actually, let me move the camera a little bit. Here's what we've got so far. What do you think, Lori B? And I need something for over here something I don't know what yet I'm just sort of looking at my bag of stuff oh what about
Ooh, eggs and taters. What about putting some of these little crochet flowers And then we could put like little buttons in between. I don't like that one over there. And you should never have uneven numbers. So how about those three? How about doing that and... Oh, this is a um, wooden button, Lori B. What about that? And then we could put some buttons in the middle of it. This is my big ass jar of buttons, my neutral buttons. Um, Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to keep away from the bling, Donna. I want to make one that is just for, because I've had people say something, it shows to me that, you know, they'll say, you know, they're all so lacy and girly and, you know, I, I'm not lacy and girly. Do you do anything? What about that? And then... Where'd that butterfly go? Because we still need some color over on this side. Um, where did my butterfly go? Don't tell me I lost it because I think that's the only one I had like that. Okay, it's got to be here somewhere. There it is. Maybe move him over more towards here. Or, or, we could do that kind of right in the middle. Nah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. We could move the butterfly maybe over to this side because these buttons come up kind of high. And then I'll put a little zipper pull that'll kind of come down here. What do you guys think about that layout? Let me move it up for you. This is going to fold over to the other side. What do you guys think about that? Can I paint them? What color do you want them? I probably have other buttons. You want me to put some green in them or peach or... Do you like that better than the um, white? That's just a little bit of subtle color. I don't mind that at all. I think I might have had a few of these in here. The thing I um, have to do alcohol inks. The thing about painting them. Here's my thought about that. And you guys tell me if I'm just crazy. The thought I have about that is that, you know, bags take wear and tear. And would that paint kind of rub off over time with the wear and tear of using the bag? I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it would be just fine. But I wonder. Well, I thought I had more of those in here. Where did that thing go? I just saw one in here. Nope. Maybe I don't have more of those in here. Maybe I need to look in the other. Maybe they weren't in this one. I thought I saw several of those, and I thought I was looking in this container. I'm starting to talk really quiet, you guys, because I'm concentrating. 
Do you like the pink better than the white? Let me look in. This other box that I had open leans forward into the mic. Um, no comment. Maybe you'll think I'm Oh, I know. Isn't that the way it goes, Mike? Oops, I'm just Ooh, one down here too. What are you going to say, Marty? I may think you're crazy, but go ahead and say it. They're not exactly the same style, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Okay, back. But what? But what, Marty? What? What were you going to say? Welcome back, Lori B. You can help us decide on buttons here. Nope. Um, and then I'm trying to find another little pink one. Okay. So this is what I came up with. Some... Yeah, yeah, you would need to seal it. The stamp is throwing me off big time. Okay, so what do you think we should put there? We've got, we could go with an all button theme. Or I could put the butterfly there but and then I could put little buttons across the top a spider no oh no I don't want to pick it all up Donna seriously what let's decide that we like this layout and then oh hey May so I'm working on another bag May look at the one I made last night Look at that. You do like the butterfly there? Okay. Do you like these little crochet flowers? All right, help me out, Lori B. I'm trying to make one that's not super girly lacy, you know, so that if somebody just wanted a more, and I do want to make one that's grunge. Mimi likes it just like that. I do need to put something across the top, I think. And what I would do is just put some buttons like that across the top. What do you think about that, Mimi? I'm just having some buttons across the top. Now I think it might be too much with the buttons. I love those buttons across the top. I think these are too big for the flowers. Um, I've got some little enamel dots that I could put on there. Oh, you know what else I have that I bought at Hobby Lobby? I had never used these before. These are silver. 
get off of my finger. What do you think about just a little silver dot in the middle of those? They're little halfbacks, but they're silver. And it kind of gives it a little bit of bling, but not really. But maybe the silver doesn't go. I don't know. I don't think the silver goes. And that's the biggest size that I have. Okay. Hang on. I got to... Oh, I, I know what I have. I know what I have. Let me throw these back in here. It sure helps to have a lot of different things. That's why I don't ever de-stash. Because there will come a time that I need that thing that I was going to get rid of. Hang on. So, I have, and this stays along, goes along with the plain theme, I have these and then I have some cork pieces. I have just these plain, they're just wood. These are the little ones that I could put in the middle. Do you guys like that? And I don't have to do as many buttons. I could space them out. That might be a little too busy. I could space them out. Uh, I think that's better. Stacy says, yes, you like this? It's kind of neutral. Let me see what else I have in here. Hang on, let me get my other. Keep it like this. You like this one? Okay. I can do that. I just want to see. I have this color pearl, but that doesn't go. Wrong color. This is more the correct color. Let me just try this really quick, Mimi. I'll be quick about it. So I'm thinking we're missing some color over here. What about the green in the middle of those? You want the wood? Okay. blank brain on this one. I know this is really far out of your wheelhouse, isn't it, Lori? I mean, it's not all grungy and um, I know it's real different, different for you. I've got smaller green ones. Okay. So we have green or we have the wood or where's my other, I have one other choice. The green. I kind of like the green only because it adds some color over to this side, which wasn't there before. Stacy wants the wood. All right, let's take a vote. So 
So let's vote. And we'll go with that. Um, vote, hang on, vote wood or green, red. No, I'm not doing any red. I veto that idea. I veto. I do have the ultimate veto. Now, if everybody voted red, you could override me. Okay, I have one for wood. Everybody vote. I don't know what I did with the... I had some that had little cork bits on them, but I can't find them. Oh, I have some dark wood. So I have a green and I have a wood. Nope, don't like bringing in that dark color. It's a whole new color. Green wood. Stop it, Stacy. I don't have any way to get those wood beads the green that I need them. Not with any consistency. Yeah, I know it is. Uh, nothing's glued down yet. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out, do we want green or do we want the wood in there? Well, if you had to pick one, if you were making this bag, which one would you put on there, Miss Mimi? Oh, I'm going to... One, two... Three, I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in here because I also have some. Of the peachy color. Wood kind of disappears. So I have those peachy ones. But everything else, all the other accents are green, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm all confused now. It's too big. One of each. A wood, a green, and a... <laughs> you girls are crazy. I know. The peach really goes nicely. Now, what I could do... I'm giving you guys too many choices. We're in an hour and three minutes. I'll put all this together offline, but if we can just get the layout. What I could do, oh, now see, I really like that. I think it's soft. I like that, but then you know what I could do is put, if I can pick it up, maybe that's too much, because I could put the greens up here. Oh, maybe it's not too much. What do you guys think of that? Three buttons on the top. It is a little busy, isn't it? What if I did it something like that? Kind of center them. Oh, put the other buttons. Just don't put anything in them yeah but then it if I did that I would alternate 
because it looks like I just forgot to do them if they're. No, I actually like just the three, to be honest with you. Because I think it was getting too competing with this. Too much. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's too much. Now we could put... I like to have different things on my pieces though and I'm getting too much of these halfbacks because I've got them in the middle of the flowers but I could go around you know like this I don't know too many choices let's decide hey Catherine why are you giving up Stacy too much I know and I took it off so Stacy tell me they would look so tell me Stacy what would you do here do you like the the um do you like the crochet flowers with the pink in the middle Stacy. I don't want you giving up. I don't want anybody to get frustrated. I want to listen to everybody. I don't like these. I think too many halfback pearls. I think I'm liking it just like this sweet and simple and to the point and not I'll find the right package for these guys you get frustrated oh don't get frustrated we're all contributing so marty what do you think of this what do you think of just like this just three buttons at top because i thought it was too much with them going all the way across I love the pink centers. Okay. Stacy May, two wood and one peach. I can try that. I'm happy to try it. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but. Okay. Going to disagree, sissy. Okay. There's two wood and one peach. Is that what you meant, Stacy? So my symmetric. Yeah, I do too. I like the three. I think that's good. My symmetric brain is is um is really hot wire I mean it's short circuiting over this somebody else said all peach so Mimi here's what we have so far we have these three flowers we have this doily set up, and I'll probably move it over just a little bit with the darker doily and the Stacy May. You have to think outside the box. Oh, I have to think. I know. I know I do. Um, I know. And there are just some things that are so hard. I think you need, I don't think, love it just as it is. What does everybody else think? Should we start gluing? Hey, 
And I know I do, Stacy. I absolutely know that I need to think outside the box more. So I'm getting a lot of yays on this layout. Just like this. Is everybody good with this, Stacy? Are you going to be? Flowers seem too far apart for my eye. Um, a human, I know, I know, I know they're not, I do know that, I do know that, but that's just how my eye works, you know, that's just... I know, I know, Stacy, and I appreciate it. Um, and I take a lot of suggestions. I just sometimes it it just hurts my brain. Hang on, I want to try something. Sometimes it hurts my brain. And you're right. In the end, I have to do what. What if we put a little piece of lace and then the flowers? Here I'm adding another thing again. But that will sort of tie them together. What do you guys think about that? We could move it up towards the top a little. <laughs> it's not standing out then I like having the lace behind it but I think you're right and I do like having these flowers up here a little farther towards the top since this is down here okay is that it you guys is that the layout You get curvy lines. <laughs> oh, you crack me up, Mimi. All right, is this it? Well balanced, love it. I got one, love it. Is anybody? That's it, Marty says. All right. All right, ladies, well, and gents, I am going to, it's already um, 15 after the hour, so I'm going to stop here. I'll glue it all together, and then I'll show you um, tomorrow after it's all glued together. So um, thank you. This has been a very interesting one, and, and nothing probably that I would have made. Like, I would have... I don't know. It would have come out all different. As I tell Zena, just glue the dang thing already. Thread the top buttons. Oh, okay. I can do that. I can do that. Should I thread them like they're sewn on or just thread them with the thread tied at the top and sticking out? I don't have any peach thread, Kelly. If I had some, I would do that, but I really don't have anything that color, unfortunately. I want to do a grungy bag, yes, with metals. I um, Maybe we can work on that tomorrow morning. We still got to get back to this and do the other side of this, but uh, maybe we'll do a grungy bag tomorrow. All right, well, I'm going to um, maybe I'll just sew them down to this and I'll use, I don't know, a thread that matches this doily to, to bring out that. I'll see. 
All right, I am going to call it a day. And thank you all for your help. This has come like full circle from where we started, but I'm loving it. And I couldn't have done it without you girls and guys. So you all have a wonderful day. Love you bunches. And please give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. I'm trying a little adventure project. Ooh, I can't wait to see it, Mike. All right. Sorry for those of you who got a little frustrated today. It's, um, but I think we came up with a good design. All right. See y'all later. Bye.